the hot list. Some common sense solution to the stories where the mainstream media is just not doing their job. President Obama is apologizing today. <laughs> so he does that very well. People all around the world have seen him do it. It's a command performance. This time, he's apologizing to the policeman he offended at his health care press conference. But I'd like to know, is he going to apologize to the doctors he also managed to anger when he made this diagnosis, MD? Right now, doctors a lot of times are forced to make decisions based on the fee payment schedule that's out there. So if they're looking and, and you come in and you've got a bad sore throat, or your child has a bad sore throat, or has repeated sore throats, the doctor may look at the reimbursement system and say to himself, you know what, I make a lot more money if I take this kid's tonsils out. Uh, by the way, the fee payment schedule, you know who does that? That's, that's the federal government. They make that schedule. Now the American Academy of Auto Learnology. I'm a doctor, I can say that. They're the throat people. Uh, they beg to differ. They have released this statement saying that they are, quote, disappointed by the president's portrayal of making a, a decision-making process by the physicians who perform these surgeries. In many cases, tonsillectomy may be more effective treatment and less costly than the prolonged and repeated treatments for an infected throat. Wow. Less costly and more effective. Come on, docs. Come on, who you fooling here? Admit it! You're taking every little child that comes in, you're ripping their tonsils out, and then you're hanging them on a little hanger in your closet, and you're letting them dry out. Then you sell them as beef jerky to the Chinese. Oh, I know. <laughs> you're not fooling anybody. Why? Because he's watching all the time. Yeah. You're nothing but a bunch of tonsil mongers. More on that a little later. And in case uh, you, you've ever heard the uh, do as I say, not as I do, you're going to love it, this time coming from New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. He was caught by the Associated Press lessing, letting his SUVs idle for up to an hour. Oh, how very non-green of you, Mayor. But earlier this year, he strengthened the city's anti-idling law for vehicles, allowing only three minutes of idling on the street. I know, I'm in traffic, and I'm going down Avenue of the Americas, and I'm like, come on, man, come on, I've got 20 seconds, move, traffic, move. And don't worry about it. You can also stay one minute idling in a school zone. Now the mayor is apologizing and instructing his drivers to turn off their vehicles, live by the law that the people have to. Oh, thank goodness, now the earth is going to be saved. But it turns out the mayor's vehicles are exempt from the law because they are emergency vehicles. Mr. Mayor, as late great Kermit the Frog used to say, it's not easy being green. But Kermit didn't understand that there are two classes of people. Those who make the laws and then who, those who actually have to live by them. We appreciate the apology, but did you know regular, non-exempt people getting caught idling would cost those people $250 to $2,000? By the way, I'm sorry to break the news about Kermit the Frog. Apparently, when I said late great, kids, you'll be missed. And restaurant chain Denny's is rep reportedly being... Kids all over America are like, what? what? I'm kidding. He's fine. He's totally healthy. Um, he's reportedly being sued. That's all we need is another celebrity to die. Can you imagine how long that funeral would be? Uh, reportedly being sued by a New Jersey resident and the consumer group Science, a Center for the Science in the Public Interest. Yes, Denny's being sued. Why? Because many of Denny's meals are dangerously high in sodium. Too much salt. <laughs> Too much sodium at Denny's. What will happen next? Well, it was the meat lovers' scramble, apparently, that did it. You know, Dish has cheese. In fact, I've got an example here. Mmm, this is it. This apparently has too much... Where are we here? This one has just too much salt in it. It has cheese and bacon and hash browns and a pancake and eggs and sausage. <laughs> I mean, too much salt. This isn't healthy. Somebody should sue. It's almost 6,000 milligrams of sodium, or the amount of salt you should have in over three days. But guess what? Piggy, pig, pig, pig. You don't have to eat it. Don't order it. You think this is healthy? Maybe that's God's way of sorting out the stupid people. <laughs>
It's not polite to talk about politics or religion, but today they come together so perfectly they make blood shoot right out of my eyes. In New Jersey, the Garden State, where they are apparently growing corruption. The FBI arrested three mayors, two state assemblymen, and a partridge in a pear tree along with 40 other people, including rabbis, in an alleged international money laundering scheme. The group allegedly trafficked everything from human organs to fake designer handbags. Those aren't handbags. Those are children's tonsils! Busloads of suspects were taken to the FBI's Newark field office, including Ridgefield Mayor Anthony Suarez, who was reportedly charged with agreeing to accept a $10,000 corrupt cash payment for his legal defense fund, accepting an illegal payment for a legal defense fund, only in New Jersey. The other two mayors were charged with taking bribes. The FBI say their cooperating witness laundered $3 million through rabbis and their charitable organizations and paid bribes to public officials, adding, quote, this case uncovered a web of corruption that spanned the state. Huh, in New Jersey. That's crazy. Oh, no, good. I've already taken New Jersey Star off the flag up here, so we don't have to worry. But you know what? Do I have a pen? Where is New Jersey Star? I think we should make it. Here it is, New Jersey. Come on, we'll make it special for New Jersey. I'm just going to put prison bars on their state. You know what I think we should do with New Jersey? I'm thinking that maybe what we should do with New Jersey is we should just have like a little preemptive policing. Anyone who says, I'm going to go down and fill out my paperwork to become a politician, we should just arrest them. And that is your hot list. Next, Glenn Beck is finally ready to take on the radio call everyone is talking about. You know the one. Get off my phone! Yeah, that's the one.